Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. So if I can please ask you to turn on your cameras. Also, I want to apologize about my voice. I'm a little bit sick, but I didn't want it to cancel the classes. So I'm going to try my best so you can understand me what I'm saying. You see, I've lost my voice. It was a little bit worse this morning. Now it's getting slightly better. Still not good. My mother um, also has a like a like the voice like you. Oh, okay. But well, she still has to work and go on calls as well. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to do that. Thank you, Lua Fing. Okay, guys. So, um, first thing, I, I need to mute you because sometimes you're just opening your microphones without even realizing that you've opened your microphone. And uh, because I already cannot speak clearly, so I needed to close your microphones. First thing first. Thank you, Chloe. Uh, guys, first things first, uh, how many of you have done your homework? You were supposed to do, you need, let me double check what unit, what unit was that? That was page 76, unit nine. So please give me thumbs up, okay? Give me thumbs up if you've done your homework. Okay, most of you have done it. Okay, so let's check it out. We're going to start from the beginning. So guys, when I call your name, you can please open your microphone. <coughs> not good, not good. Um, okay, let's take a look. So we are going to start with exercise one. So one student is reading exercise, one exercise, okay? Let's start with Olivia. Can you finish? <clears throat> Can you finish washing Not the cup? Exercise one. Oh, sorry. Thank you for helping me with this. Thank you for helping me with this. Perfect. So thank you for helping me with this. Good. Next one. We decided to buy a new TV. We decided to buy. To buy. Good. I would like visiting your country i would like to visit to visit very well good stefan wants going to the seaside today stefan wants to go to the seaside today oh very well I hope hearing from you soon. I hope to hear from you soon. Excellent. We've got a little table for play cards. We got a little table for Playing. Playing cards. Good. Last one. After see the film, I will go to the cafe. After seeing the film, I will go to the cafe. Excellent, sweetie. Well done. Thank you. Austin, you are next. Number two, please. Okay. Number two, can you finish? Washing the car before that comes back. Good. 
Do you think Martin would like to come with us to the beach? I'd like to come, yeah. I don't mind walking to school when it's sunny. Walking to school, yeah. Are you going to learn driving when you are 16? To drive. Susan looks really happy about passing all her exams. Passing, okay, thank you. Okay, guys, make sure you're having the answers. Uh, now we're going to go to exercise four, five, and six because if I move the page, you won't be able to see the rest of the um, answers. So let's go to the next one. Chloe, number three, please. Chloe? Devin? Will Susan be at the party? Yes, she will. Will okay. the shops be open on Sunday? No, it won't. No? Will you? No, they it won't. won't. No, they. No, they won't. No, they won't. Will you go to football practice tomorrow? Yes, I will. Will Daniel win the race next week? No, he won't. No, he won't. Very well, thank you. Jolene, exercise five, please. Um, I did. Exercise five. Um. Will Daniel win the wait? Oh, that's not the question. Roseanne, can you please go exercise five? Oh. A. Why, why don't we go to the theater? I uh, rather not. Would you like to go to a cricket match? Yes, sure. How about having chicken for dinner? I don't think so. Shall we watch a DVD? Good idea. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's keep going. Sean, do you have exercise six, please? Pardon? Do you have number six, exercise six? Yes. Please read it for us. I fell asleep in the film because it was so boring. What an amazing goal. Oh, wait, I didn't do three and four. Okay. Uh, Danielsen, do you have three and four? Danielsen? Noah Fink? This book is quite interesting. Why don't you read it? Good. The next one, sweetie. Teacher, I don't know the next one. Terrible. Terrible. What, what terrible weather? What terrible weather? Let's stay at home today. Don't order the soup. It's horrible. Okay, cool. 
uh, guys write down the words so we can continue to the second one i'll just give you a minute Okay, let's get going to the next one. So I'm just gonna scroll the page up. This is so annoying that I speak like this, so bad. <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, let's go with the last exercise. Uh, Chloe, can I ask you please, number two? Chloe, are you here? Yes. Okay, can you please read number three for us? Okay. What happened, sweetie? Austin, can you read number three, please? I can. Uh, I don't worry. I won't be late this time. I know the match starts at 11. Hold on, you're starting from the middle of the exercise, guys. I know, I'm aware that I cannot speak very well, but at least pay attention, okay? So I'm asking you to read the full third exercise. You're starting from the middle, not there. You need to start from the beginning. Start again, please. Hi, Tim. I'm really looking forward to watching the tennis match with you on Saturday. It will be, it will be great. Um... Uh, Meet you at the front door at 10.30 a.m. Don't worry, I won't be late this time. I know the match starts at 11. After the match, I'll, I'll meet with my mom at about 2 p.m. So I, I will need to leave straight away. I... I won't have time to have lunch with you, sorry. Well, we are going to see my grandparents who aren't very well at the moment. Okay. All right, guys, please mark the answer. Okay, and all right, good. Um, so today, what we're going to do is, you're gonna have to write the story. However, <clears throat> you're gonna work in groups, but you're gonna do that a little bit later. Let me just see, double check, where did we stop last week? Okay, so we are having unit 10, page 70. Sixty-eight, sixty-nine. Okay, so we are about to start this unit. 
But that's fine. I think first I'm going to give you the writing part. So what you're going to have to do, let me share my screen with you. So I'm going to give you this file. It will be a Google Drive link, okay? So you're going to have to write a story with your friends. Let me see how many students are here. Ideally, I can put three students in a group. Team 12. Yes, okay, so three groups, four groups with three students should be fine. So what do you have to do? First of all, you want to talk about what kind of story you want to write, okay? Let's write it down. So decide what kind of story you are going to write. Funny, sad, exciting, up to you, okay? After that, you're going to have to find 10 verbs that we'll need for your story. For example, if you decide to make a story about a girl going into the mountain, for example, you need to choose verbs like walking, climbing, and so on. Then you have to find 10 nouns that you're going to use them in your story and 10 adjectives that you're going to use them in your story. Okay? That's the first thing you need to do. After that, you're going to have to change the verbs in past tense because the story requires you to do this, uh, to write a story in past tense. After that, you're going to, sorry, you're going to create a story. You need to make sure that everyone uh, makes at least one sentence. Your, sh your story should have about 100 words, okay? So you also need to check the punctation and the grammar. So I'm going to create four groups. And I will send you this in a second. Just need to copy it. I will put the names of the students over there. So we have group three. And then we're going to have group four. Now, what you have to do is, hold on, what did I have done? No, this is not group one. Group one is here. So once I'm gonna give you this link, let me just put you in breakout rooms. So I will tell you which one of you is where. Let's say group one will be Olivia. Um, Adam? No, let's go like this. Let's put some girls over here. Olivia? Can you see? And I need one more. One more. Lua Feng. Okay, this is group one. Then in the second group, so that means this group one, you only write over here, okay? And over here, you just kind of write the story, okay? That is your page. Then the second page is for group two, okay? So for the second group, over here, we're going to make, write the story. That's your page, all right? So let's keep going to group two. We're gonna put Austin. <coughs> okay, so Austin. Adam. Austin, Adam, and Missing. Oh, Yiguan is here. Okay. And Yiguan. Okay. This is your group. Now let's see group three. Chloe. Julene. 
and um, who am I missing? Who's in? Okay, let's see group four over here. We're just gonna put write your story. And let's see who we left over here. I think it's Devin. Meredith. I think it's Sean. Is it Sean? Did I put Sean somewhere? No, I didn't. Okay. And Sean is here as well. So, for example, oh, not there. What am I doing? Sorry, guys. And Sean. Now, for example, in this group, we're having Devin, Meredith, and Sean. Now, one of you needs to share the screen. Either it's going to be Devin, Meredith, or Sean, doesn't matter. And each one of you needs to collaborate, okay? Tell me a verb, tell me a verb, tell me a noun. Then you need to change the verb. So, for example, if you decide what you want to talk about, let's say you're talking about girl walking in the mountain. If you put the verb walk here, you need to change it in the past tense next to it, okay? So, you're going to put Walked, sorry, I'm gonna put walked. I'm giving you an example, all right? I'm gonna let you finish the story as much time as you need. Uh, obviously, I will check you up and let's see what kind of story you're going to make. Remember, you're only doing in your group. Now, let me just very quickly, um, hold on, let me share my screen with you. Okay, so here is the link for you. Now let me just create the breakout rooms and I'm gonna let you write over. However, you need to speak during these conversations, okay? I mean, this word conversation, during this activity, okay? So you need to collaborate. Now let's make the breakout rooms. Um, I said four, but there will be three because I'm going to have three students in the main room. And let me just see how did I, how did I create the groups because I already forgot. Okay, so room one. I said Austin. Adam and you one. Group two, Chloe, Jolene, and Roseanne. Room three, we got Devin, Meredith, and Sean. So do you understand the, the task? Yeah. Okay. Mary, did you need to go in your room, please? Jolene, you too. Jolene, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Olivia, Tani, Isina, Lua, Feng. Which one of you is going to share the screen and do the task over here so everyone can collaborate? Who would like to do that? Olivia, can you share your screen? Okay. Thank you.
Okay, perfect. So now you need to decide what kind of story you want to talk about. It. So think about it, girls. Olivia, can you actually type? Can you try and see if you can type inside? Write anything, doesn't matter. Go in 10 verbs, write in one verb, please. Teacher, I can't write. You cannot write? Yeah. Okay, let me see why is that you should. Can you try now? Refresh the page. Teacher, I think I'm using iPad, so cannot, right? Uh -huh, okay. Uh, Tanya Singh, can you try, sweetie? Can you please try typing something, anything, just to see if it works? Just write one verb, doesn't matter. Can I can't type something. You cannot. Yes. That's that's impossible. Let me see why is that. Everything seems fine over here. Okay, let me check the other ones. In the meanwhile, you discuss what kind of topic you want to talk about. I'm just going to check the other ones as well. Hello? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, so what do you guys want to write about?
Mm, I think we can write the funny story. Okay. Uh, what kind? Still haven't started. What's going on? Girls, you need to write the story. What's going on? You need to write the vocabulary first. Okay, I don't see anyone doing anything. What's going on here? Can someone reply to me, please? Tanya, mm -hmm. since we are you writing something? I can write. But that's impossible, sweetie. Refresh the page because everyone can. So refresh the page, please. Is it okay now? Yes. Yes, okay. Start talking with your friends and decide what kind of story and what vocabulary you need. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So what do you guys want to write about? I'm not really sure. Mm. Shall we write something exciting? Mm. Okay. Okay, so to give an idea what kind of exciting story what is this story about we can write about going to the amusement park or the theme park Okay, sure. Okay. Mm. Mm. The works. You can start this. Pardon? I said you can start making a sentence first. Oh, sentence. Mm -hmm. Last and how to write. Wait, what were you guys writing about again? We were writing about going to the theme park. The theme park? Yeah. Okay, you can say, Last Sunday, me and my family went to the theme, the theme park. And then, who we'll stopped? Me and my family. Yes. My family and I went to the theme park. Theme park is separate. TH. TH. E A M and then space only park. Then the next one can you like follow continue mm. next you can write uh We saw everything there, like the things we saw there. We can write about that. We saw. We saw a lot of cool rides. Fun? No, right. We saw a lot of cool and fun rides. Of. Cool. 
cool c o o l cool and from and and fun rights and rights how to spell r i d e s I think we can write we play eat happily I think you need to write uh, we bought tickets for the ride first and then we go on the ride next okay you can write my father or my mother bought tickets for us no I think <clears throat> I think we are doing it wrong. We should say last Sunday me my family and I went to the team park. When we reached there, my father and my father and I went to buy tickets while my mother waited for us. That is a great idea. We should put that in. And then the the fourth sentence, my father bought ticket no meat already. Tickets. You can write about uh, the first write you wrote. Pardon? You can write about the first write you went on.
We wrote R O D E. We wrote the right I think you need to write about the first one first. You can write we wrote the first right, which is um uh, whatever right you want to call. I think instead of first right, you can write, we wrote the roller coaster. C O A S T E R. As our first right.
Um, I think we can say the roller coaster is scary. Oh yeah, we can write uh, the roller coaster is scary and fun at the same time. was scary and fun at the same time. The next thing we wrote was the Ferris wheel. Mm. Next, we went to. Next, we went on the Ferris wheel. Uh? On the Ferris wheel. Can you spell it? F E I F E R R. I S O uh, space W H E E L. Okay. I think we can say. We took the photo with the breathtaking scenery. Which?
you can write after the rights. Me and my parents want to get some food before we go on the next ride. Before we go on the next step. The food there was delicious. Okay. 
what um what rights we can say Lock rights, lock rights, L O G R I T E S. You can write, uh, after finishing our lunch, me and my family went on the lock right. You can also write about a fun house. And mm, fun house. Uh, a fun house. The scary one with like plenty of mirrors inside. And fun houses, or or you can say, my family and I went to right. It was it was terrifying. My family and I went to rock rights. Um, and then you can write it was terrifying. Then you can separate the fun house. It was terrifying. Yeah. Then we went to the fun house next. Fun house. And we 
พลย์ play the play in the fun house happily Yeah, we can write that. Okay. I think I think we can write. We go back home. Oh, when we got back home. Oh wait, wait, no, no. Uh. You can write after. You started wrong. We went home. Uh, we we bought some souvenirs. Yeah, and you can also write. It was a memorable day for us. As a memory, as a memory, yeah, I can also look that. Um, uh, Okay, finish. Okay. So, did you finish your story? Yes. You need some words, guys. Please make sure you're having all the words. Check your story and we will read it. I'm just going to check the other ones and be back with you.
Did you add souvenirs to the noun? Okay, I think let's go the story. Yeah, it is. All right, so you are back. Let's take a look what you've done. Group one, Olivia, Tanya, Sin, and Lua Feng. Was to see, go, when, see, so, arrive, arrive, I will, take, took, is, was, finish, finishing, or finished. This is the wrong one. Finished. Or was finishing, that's a little bit different. Play, play, go, when, buy, bought, good. Theme park ride. Oh, theme park twice. Roller coaster. Breathtaking. Celery. Okay, celery is the correct one. Breathtaking will be an adjective. Food, lunch, house, log rides, souvenirs. Okay, but because you have a couple of adjectives here, I will say this ones are okay. Um. Olivia, can you read the story, please? Okay. <clears throat> Last Sunday, my family and I went to the team bar. When we arrived at there, my father and I went to buy tickets while my mother was waiting. We saw a lot of cool and fun rides. We rode the roller coaster as our first ride. The roller coaster was scary and fun at the same time. Next, next we went on the Ferris wheel. We took the photo with the breathtaking scenery. After the ride, my family and I went to get some food before we went to another ride at the restaurant nearby. The food, the food at there was delicious. After finishing our lunch, my family and I went to lock right and it was terrifying then we went to the fun house and we played the fun house happily before we went back we bought some souvenirs as a memory it was a memorable day for me okay perfect now there are certain mistakes over here uh one of the most important is this one at there you not you don't want to say at there okay so ideally this needs to be removed you cannot say at there and you have it in two three places i think where did i see it at there here as well okay so that's not good generally i think you did quite well i think your group did the best because each one of you was participating so well done to her, Livia, Tanyisin, and Lua Feng. I think yours was the most cooperative group. There are some mistakes over here, but we will back in a second. Let's go to Austin. In Austin's group, Austin was the only one that was working. Adam, he was always away. He grew on, I, I saw he texted like a message or two, but I didn't hear him talking. So in the second group, it was just Austin that he was working. Not Adam, not Iguan. Austin, would you like to read your story, please? 
Okay. Sally was walking in a beautiful neighborhood when she saw one of a old bench, a uh, old friends eating a red apple on a bench. But she also saw her crying and realized she was crying in front of a famous person. Out of the blue, a giant dog ran forward towards them. They shouted for help loudly while the tree beside them was struck by lightning. So Sally went to help them, but she was across the road. So she ran as fast as she could to help them. After saving her, she told her why she was crying. It was because she was nervous about the grey sky and she was scared of lightning. And her guess was right. A few moments later, <coughs> it rained and lightning almost hit her and the celebrity. They thanked Sally for saving their lives from the dangerous lightning. But Sally finally broke out. It was a dream. Perfect. So uh, Austin actually has the least mistake so far. He has uh, uh, less mistake than the first group. Let's continue to the next one. So this group over here, Chloe, Jolene, and Roseanne, they didn't do the task as I asked them to do. So I think only Sean, uh, not Sean, pardon. Um, I couldn't see with Sean there was some issue, but let's talk about Austin first. Austin was the only student that first he completed this chart. He was the only one, okay? So I feel like he's the only one that he understood what he was supposed to do. I ask you first to fill in 10 verbs, 10 nouns, 10 adjectives. Once you have them, it's super easy to make a story. You cannot first make a story and then choose the verbs. What's the point? I don't see a point there, right? So well done, Austin. You did an amazing job today. Awesome. Now let's talk about these girls. So these girls, they just had like a couple of words over here and then they started writing the story. And when I asked them where are the words, they said, well, the, word, the words are in the text. In the text, yes. But you were supposed to write them here first. And as you can see, they still haven't finished because they didn't follow my instruction. Anyway, let's read it. Um, Roseanne, can you read the story, please? There was, there was a cat called Hushin. Hushin was energetic and independent to go to the sushi store nearby. Hushin felt poor so it broke. It brought a heat pack with it. Hushin went to the sushi store to buy some sushi, but Fushin realized the store was closed. Fushin was very sad that he even cried. Fushin called its friend to help him make some sushi. His friend went to Help his friend went to help push him making some sushi. Pushing put a picture of the sushi. Then they went then they went and enjoyed it at home. It thank his friends and pushing friend left his home. He was very happy after the process. Pushing of pushing had also prepared green tea to drink. Pushing wished to have more, but was grateful for the sushi that sushi pushing and. His friends make it 
bed the well she felt so cheerful and good he was happy and faithful <clears throat> that's it okay so yeah, i must be honest with you i didn't understand one single word that you read Rosen, really, you need to work a little bit more on your reading. It's it's not good. I'm not going to lie to you. The way you read the story, I literally couldn't understand one word. And what's the goal when we're reading something? Well, the point is the other person says, well, I don't have to look at the text, but I have to understand you. And believe me, I was looking at the text. I couldn't understand one single word that you read the story. So I'm going to ask Chloe to read the story one more time. Of course, if she's here. Chloe, are you here? I don't think she is. Okay, who was the other one in the group? With you was Jolene. Is Jolene here? Jolene, can you read the story again, please? Jolene doesn't want to read. Devin, can you read their story for me, please? Okay. There was a cat called Hushin. Hushin was energetic and independent to go to the sushi store nearby. Hushin felt cool, so it bought a heat pack with it. Hushin went to the sushi store to buy some sushi, but Hushin realized the store the store was closed. Pursin was very sad that he even cried. Pursin called its friend to help it buy some sushi. Its friend went to go help and help Pursin make some sushi. Pursin took a picture of the sushi. Then they made a, and enjoy it at home. It thanked its friend and Pursin friends left its home. It was very happy after the process. Pusin had also prepared green tea to drink. Pusin wished to have more but was grateful for the sushi that Pusin and its friend made together. Pusin felt so cheerful and good. It was happy and thankful. Okay, so it's an interesting approach that you have pushing and sushi in one sentence. I like that. That's very interesting. However, every single sentence starts with pushing, 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 pushing. That's not good. Okay. We don't want to repeat one word in every single sentence. Uh, there are a couple of mistakes, obviously, grammar mistakes. Uh, we're not going to talk about that now. But in general, the story is good. I like it. Let's take a look at the last one. So Devin Meredith and Sean. Unfortunately, I couldn't see the words on my screen previously. I don't know what happened after that they showed up. So let's take a look at their story. Um, Meredith, can you read it for us, please? Last weekend, Mar Mary's birthday party was held on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. When me, when me and my couple others got an invitation to her birthday party on Wednesday, we were all super excited. Neither of us have ever be, been to a birthday party before, so we talked with each other a lot about how we thought the party was gonna be like. All of a sudden, Saturday rolled around and my parents drove me to Mary's birthday party. When I got in, I was face to face with Mary. She asked me if I had a present, present for her and that's when it dawned on me. I had forgotten to bring her birthday present. At first, 
Mary looked a little annoyed, but then she decided to forgive me. When I got further in, I saw others who were invited to Mary's birthday party. They were all running around and bonking each other with their balloons. Mary's parents had hired a clown to make the kid, all the kids laugh, and the clown sure did make them laugh. The kids laughed so hard, milk squirted out of their noise, of their nose. There were also kids drinking juice. After that, Mary blew her candles and everyone ate some cake. In the end, everyone had a joyful, cheerful, and wonderful time at Mary's birthday party. Very well, thank you, Meredith. Good reading. So I can say there are certain, some sample mistakes here as well, but I'm, I'm ignoring them at first because I want to just see as a whole, as a general, how does this story look like? If I'm being honest, I think Sean Devins and um, Meredith's story is the best. I like this story the best. It's very interesting. The approach is interesting. The vocabulary is splendid. After that, I would probably go with... I'm thinking either it's going to be... I think Sean, definitely. Oh, sorry, not Sean, Austin. Austin's story is the second one that I really like. After that, I have the girls from the first group. I think they did quite well. And then I have the story for the cat Pusheen, because I feel like Pusheen has been repeated quite a lot. Okay, so you use grammar tense, you use the past simple grammar tense, that's good. Now let me explain, why did I ask you to do this? <clears throat> well, because if you have the words already, it's super easy for you to combine sentences. If I have ate sushi in the energetic, I'm going to make a sentence super easy. I'm going to say, one day I was feeling so energetic and I decided to eat sushi. There you go. I covered the three words because I already see them, right? That's why I want you first to focus on uh, writing the words and you write the story. This is called planning. I apologize about my voice but because I was trying to save my voice. I gave you this ask. Anyway, good writing. Uh, we're having about 20 minutes before we finish our class. So very quickly, I'm going to open the book. Starting unit 10. We completed unit 9, if you remember. Now, unit 10 is all about seasons. It's going to be sunny. Now, I know that in your country, you don't really have all the seasons. You just have like summer. Uh, but I want to know what is your favorite season? Because probably you've traveled or maybe you haven't traveled. What do you think about other seasons? Um, Devin, tell me about you. Tell me your opinion. What is your favorite season? Probably winter. Winter, okay. Why do you like winter? Because I like places that is like cold. Pardon, sweetie, you like what? Places that is like cold. You like cold, uh, colder places. Okay, good. But why? Why? What's the reason? Because um, I'm scared of hot. You're scared of hot? Yes. Okay. Why are you scared? Because I get sweat easily. Okay, thank you. How about you, Olivia? What is your favorite season? My favorite season is autumn because I love the colors of the leaves on the tree when it's that time. Okay, good. And which season you don't really like? I don't really like summer because it will be kind of hot. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
like we in Europe, we have spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And in certain countries, summers are horrible. And this year has been very horrible for us in the UK as well. So I know what you mean. Austin, how about you? My previous favorite season was winter, but I changed it to spring. Okay, why? Because I I think uh, the cold I am I can sneeze very easily. So I think uh, when I go to countries that are cold, I think that I'll sneeze sneeze more often. Okay, that's interesting. All right. So I'm going to play a little audio for you. It's very short. You just need to write which seasons do you think they talk about. It's going to be super easy, super simple. That should be 57. Let me double check. Unit 10. Starting off. Exercise 3. Where I live, we have amazing autumns. People come from all over the world to see the colours of the leaves on the trees. Autumn is from September to November. I live in Canada. Winter here is cold, very cold. It usually snows a lot, which is great because I love skiing. Our winter is from November until February. Summer in Australia lasts from December to February. It's great, and not just because of the warm weather. I like it because my birthday is in December, and we usually have a beach party. I'm from Spain, and my favourite season is spring. There are lots of flowers. It begins in March and goes on until May. It's the most beautiful time of the year. Okay, so what is season one, Adam? It's winter. Okay, do we agree it's winter? Okay, what is season two? Um, Meredith? Teacher, can you repeat? What is season two, number one? Spring. Okay, do we agree it's spring? Okay, let's see season three, uh, big one. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Autumn. No. Was it autumn? Oh yeah, it was autumn. Or wasn't? How about uh, season four, Herlivia? Yes. What was season four? Season four was winter. No. None of you gave me the correct answer. Unit 10. Starting off. Exercise 3. Where I live, we have amazing autumns. People come from all over the world to see the colours of the leaves on the trees. Autumn is from September to November. I live in Canada. Winter here is cold, very cold. It usually snows a lot, which is great because I love skiing. Our winter is from November until February. Summer in Australia lasts from December to February. 
It's great, and not just because of the warm weather. I like it because my birthday is in December, and we usually have a beach party. I'm from Spain, and my favorite season is spring. There are lots of flowers. It begins in March and goes on until May. It's the most beautiful time of the year. Your next task: a little bit of writing. Five reasons why I love, for example, spring. Why I love summer. Why I love winter. Or why I love autumn. Five reasons. Write them down. Give me thumbs up when you're ready. Teacher, can you repeat the questions? Can someone please repeat my question? What are you supposed to do? Sean, did you hear my question? Hi, five reasons why why you love uh what whatever season that you like the most. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Austin, are you ready? I'm thinking of three more reasons. Did you find five reasons? Still writing, still writing three. I okay. Still have three reasons. Okay, it's fine. Who is ready? Chloe, you want to read your sentences, please? Party. 
Can you read your sentences for me? Okay. Okay, I'm waiting. Who is ready? So I teach one more sentence. Who is ready? Come on. Me. Go ahead, please read it. Okay. I like spring because in Japan, blossoms will bloom in spring. I like spring because, because in spring, the temperature will, will be average. I like spring because I can go picnicking with my family. You cannot go picnicking, doesn't exist that word, picnicking. Because I can go picnic with my family. A picnic. I can go to picnic with my family. On a picnic. Go on a picnic with my family. I like spring because the trees will be green instead of having no leaves in winter. I like spring because I will have a lot of free time. Done. Okay, thank you. Who is next? Who is next? Nobody wants to read anymore? Can you sing? Go ahead, Siri. My favorite season is spring because I can spend more time outside. The flowers blossom during the season. The view is so beautiful and the weather is just nice. Okay, thank you. Who is next? Devin? I love winter because I really want to try snowball fight with my friends. I love cold places, especially when I'm hot. <clears throat> I love winter because Christmas is celebrated during this season and I like Christmas. That's it. Hello, Frank. I call your names, guys, about five times uh, during in one second. I'm sorry, in one minute, you just don't reply to me. I know my voice is a little bit uh, hoarse. You cannot understand me very well. But if you focus, as I call the same students for five times, I think you can hear your name. Lua Feng. Olivia? Yes. Can you read your sentences, please? Okay. My favorite season is autumn because, <clears throat> because 
At that time, the leaves are yellow and orange. I love the breeze that I love the breeze that will come through every time when I have a walk at the park, and also. And also, when it's autumn, it also has Halloween. Sweetie, autumn cannot have. Oh, it's a third person. So how can you fix that? In that month, it also in. Roots Halloween. Instead of have, you need to use has. Oh. Okay. Uh, Adam, do you have the sentences? Okay, so Luo Feng, Adam. Uh, Iguan, Rosen, Sean, where are you? You're not even here. I'm going to report you as absent today. You don't speak. I don't Thank you. So why don't you answer, sweetie? I call your name five times. Have you done the sentences? I'm writing. Okay, so you can answer that to me. I sentences? I love winter because it it is cool and I can feel how winter is It's because I'm in Asia. It doesn't matter, sweetie. If I call your name, you need to open your microphone. I cannot see you. Your camera is not working. So when I call your name, it will be nice and polite if you open your microphone and just say that you are here or at least text me. Iguan, have you done the sentences? No response. I see you, but you don't reply to me now. Yes. Can you read them for me, please? I like winter because I haven't seen snow. That's one sentence. We need four more. Roseanne, can you read your sentences, please? Winter. Number one, I like the weather. I think it's a good time to take photos. I can build snowmen. I can see people skiing. I can also... Uh, Christmas is in winter. Christmas is Christmas is my favorite. Christmas is my favorite celebration to celebrate, and it's in winter. Okay, thank you. Julie, can you read your sentences, please? There you go. I called Julie also, but she's never here. Apart from a couple of students that are always fully focused, that would be Austin. Tanya Singh is always here. Her Olivia is always here. Devin is usually here, but today I don't know what's going on with him. The rest of you guys, you're literally sleeping during the class. Sleeping. So those of you who are planning to take the exam in uh, December, you need to make sure that you are up to date with the material, practice all the time. Those of you who are not really planning to have their exam, 
doesn't mean that you have to sleep. Why is that? Because you came here to learn, to study, but I don't see you're not doing the homework, you're not participating during the class. Also, in September, two classes, I'm not sure which date that will be, you're going to have exam, okay? So you're going to have a mock test, a mock exam, and we're going to see have you actually made any progress or you haven't. So that's for me. I apologize about my voice today. Hopefully next week I will be better. Uh, do you have any questions today? No? Okay. Thank you so much for coming to class, and I'm seeing you in seven days. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye.